This is Nell Foster for eHow.com and I'm going to show you how to plant an instant tulip garden with plants already in bloom. I am here in Santa Barbara, California and it is mid-April. So tulips are already on their way out here. We've already had our spring, so that's why these are looking sort of crazy and all, all, all over the place, as you can see. I, I bought these at our farmer's market. I live in a major flower growing region of, of our country, so we have a lot of plants. And this one I actually bought probably about two and a half weeks ago. So, so when it's this open, don't even buy them because this means the plant is on, on its way out. This is, you, you actually want to buy them when they're closed or maybe this open at the most because once tulips start to open, they open and they don't last too long. So because it's really sunny and really bright outside, I'm going to show you how to plant them in a pot and the same would apply to planting it outdoors too. You really don't need to dig that big a hole because once they're, they're in flower, they are on their way to their rest phase. Tulips are a bulb. So it means it's, it's not going to come back again for the season. It won't come back again until next spring. So I'm going to take it out of this decorative container and I'm going to show you right here. And what a bulb is, see, see, see how, how rooted it is here. Bulbs um, store all their nutrients right in here. So when you plant them in the ground, I, I, I was a professional gardener and I used to plant them up in the Bay Area, usually in December, and then they'd start to peak up, come up at the end of January into February, but they had already done a lot of her root growth. So I tell you that just because I want to show you what kind of a, a root system even small tulips will have, a small tulip pot. So again, you don't, you want to break them apart as gently as you can. There we go. That's the thing about being a little live on camera. I, th I think I'm going to leave these two together. So you want to dig it down in. And I just have a planting mix in here. And I'm really not even going to put any amendment in here. I, I usually plant with uh, amendment, but because this is not going to go for too much longer, I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I can see that I'm going to have to go a little deeper on this to get this one to stay. But you might buy tulips that are, are, are very straight. These are, these are pretty straight. I should have shown you on those. So I'm going to leave these together. Here we go. I'm going to plant this one right over here. And you, and you can actually, if, if there's a little excess root, you can just take it right off. It's not going to hurt it. I'm going to put this one over here. Get that one down in there. And then this one will go over here. So hopefully when you buy tulips and you're doing your instant tulip garden, they're going to be a little bit on the straighter side. Hey, and what you could do in this kind of an instance, after you get them together, you, you could just put like a piece of fishing line around them to tie them all up if, you, if you're using them for a party or something. So there, there we go. And now I'm just going to put some planting mix on the top that I have right over here. And again, I wouldn't worry about too much fertilizer because once the tulips are in bloom and they're in the, this phase, they're on the, on, the way to their, on the way to their dormant stage almost. This is Nell Foster for eHow.com and I have just shown you how to plant an instant tulip garden with plants already in bloom.